Hey guys, it's me Heisenberg, and um, today I'm hoping to get some help from anybody who is familiar with um, Sony Vegas rendering settings and hopefully helping me get an idea of why this has been happening to my videos recently. Um, recently I've been noticing that um, in my EMB installation videos, like once I go in-game to... Uh, to show you guys that the EMB works correctly, I've been getting like a lot of, like about like two seconds of the video, it'll be extremely pixelated, and then it'll go back to normal, and then and then it'll keep repeating the process. Now, for the people that use Sony Vegas, Sony Vegas Pro, I'll start off by saying that I disabled my resample in every single one of my clips. So, for the people that use Sony Vegas, you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say the disable the resample. So I'm going to show you guys a clip in one of my videos of what exactly I'm talking about and hopefully you guys will be able to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this video in full screen real quick and show you. Alright, so you see me, see, like look, look down there in the grass, like look how pixelated that is. And then it's starting to get real bad and then when I stop moving it's all focused, and now I'm moving around, it's getting all super blurry. See, I'm really hoping that you guys see what I'm seeing, because on my end, it makes me look like I have really shitty quality, quality videos. And this never used to happen to me. And, uh, so yeah, I'm really hoping that you guys see that. Um, if you don't see, like, it just did that, it's doing it right now. But, um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. So I'm basically going to tell you guys which recording softwares I use, and I'll show you guys my project settings and my rendering settings in Sony Vegas. So I'll start off by saying that for desktop recording, uh, 9 times out of 10, I use Shadowplay. But uh, right now I'm actually using a program called Marillus Action, and... Um, Sometimes Marilla's action doesn't work. Uh, sometimes it gives me a lot of problems, and um, so I really don't. I really only use it when it's working for me. If that, if that makes any sense, um, I switched my um, my Windows 7 layout to uh, the classic version, and um, it's working a lot better with Marilla's action. But um, real quick with my shadow play settings, um, for the people that don't know what shadow play is. Um, I'll try and explain this as easiest as I can. It basically, like, as you're recording it, it pretty much, like, like, I'll try to explain this like somebody else did. It pretty much, like, renders the video for you as you're recording. So, like, the file size is super small and all that stuff. But one thing I noticed with it is, um, especially with gaming footage, like, the color is super washed out like once you're watching the video after you've recorded it. Now, my settings for it are, um, I record in 60 frames per second on a 1080p. I'm trying to find the actual settings that I can find real quick. Yeah, uh, 1080p, uh, 60 frames per second, and then uh, a bit rate of 50. Now, uh, I'm not really too familiar with bit rates, so, uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with it because sometimes I um I do use Shadowplay to record my gaming footage. Now, once I started really noticing this pixelation in my gaming segments of my videos, uh, for my actual gaming footage, I started using Fraps again. And the reason I stopped using Fraps was because of the performance hit while recording. Now, I lose, like at least 25 frames per second when I use Fraps to record my gameplay footage. Like in my Vividian 7 video, I'm getting like 14 frames per second recording with Fraps. And I'm recording with Fraps in this video and I'm still getting this really bad pixelation. So that pretty much game gave me the idea that it's not my recording software that's causing this, it's either Sony Vegas that's causing it or YouTube that's causing it. So, um, I'll basically show you guys my project settings, um, or my project property settings. Um, I made a custom template of 1080p with 60 frames per second. Now, I'm starting to get a hint that this might be my problem. 
Now, I made a couple of test videos yesterday setting this back at 30 frames per second like I used to have it, or 29.57 or whatever it is in Sony Vegas, and the pixelation was still happening, so I'm not sure. But anyway, moving on, I have this 1080p 60 frames per second, and I pretty much have everything left at the default. I have full resolution rendering quality set to best. The pixel format is on 8-bit. And uh, I left everything else at the default. I have my uh, my sample rate at uh, 48,000, my bit depth at 16. Um, that's really all the important stuff. So those are my project properties. I saw I make all my projects like in 60 frames per second because I think it looks good. Now for my actual rendering, uh, I'll show you guys my render settings. Now I have like about eight different templates that I use. Or, I don't actually use them, but, um, because I've been trying to figure out this blurry thing, so I've been trying out different codecs. Now, the codec that I mainly use is the main concept AVC slash AAC MP4, and I always use the Internet HD 1080p template. So, this is the template by default without anything being customized. So, it's automatically at 30 frames per second. It's on variable variable bitrate of 24 million and 12 million, render using CPU only. And then um, the one that I mainly use is YouTube 1080p. Now I'm going to click Customize Templates so you guys can see my settings. And um, I have the profile on high because I've heard in tons of other videos that it's better to set it at high than leave it on main. I have my frame rate set to 60, and I have allow source to adjust frame rate unchecked. My field order is on none, pro progressive scan. I'm on the variable bit rate, and I change the, the maximum BPS to 28 million and the average to 20 million. In the, en in the uh, encode mode, I render using CUDA if available because I have um, NVIDIA graphics cards. Now, um, I've heard in a couple of other videos that using the deblocking filter will help, but uh, it doesn't. I've, I've tried it, and I still get the same result. And then uh, I tried doing this little two-pass thing, and it literally doubled my uh, rendering time with no like actual quality increase, so that kind of irritated me. And then I heard in another video that rendering using CUDA really messes up the quality of your videos, and I haven't really tested that out yet, but um, someone let me know down in the comments if that's actually true before I actually test it. But yeah, these are the main settings, and then I have the uh, sample rate for audio set to 48,000 and the bit rate set, set to 96,000, but the audio isn't really the issue, and uh, the system doesn't have anything in it. And then project, uh, the only thing that I really messed with in here is the video rendering quality, I have that set to best. So, this is what I, like, 99.9% .9 of the time, this is my, uh, my custom settings that I use whenever I upload videos to YouTube. Now, I have some of these other settings in here, like, that I haven't really used, and they're all pretty much the same as the YouTube 1080p one, except this one is set to main, and the frame rate is 60, but it but I have the box check mark that says allow source to adjust frame rate. And um yeah, that's really the only difference. And another one I had, um, I think it's this one right here, I had use deblocking filter check marked. But uh these are really all just testing templates except for this one and uh the 30 frames per second one. So um I'll go ahead and render this video. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, like, after it's it's rendered. But uh, I'm going to pause the video just so you guys know what I'm talking about. So uh, I'll be right back, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Alright, guys, so the video is done rendering now, and I'm going to go ahead and show you the result after it's done rendering. Like, did you guys see that moment of pixel? Like, look in the sky area. Like, it's getting, like, the blockiness. Like, especially right now, it's doing it. So even after I render it, it's still doing it. So that's pretty much given me the idea that it's something within Sony Vegas that's causing this to happen. Because once I record the the clips with, with Shadowplay or Fraps, the clips are not blocky like this. It's after I render it, 
and then it gets even worse once I upload it to YouTube, because YouTube does all this shit to your videos anyway once you upload it. So if you guys are like looking in the sky area, you can see it happening really bad, especially... Yeah, so... That was in 60 frames per second, and I showed you guys all my settings that I used. I used the YouTube 1080p template that I always use. So... So yeah guys, that's pretty much what I wanted to make this video about. I just kind of wanted to get some help on it, and I'm really hoping that somebody can give me some, some advice as to why this is happening. So, um, so yeah, I'm really not going to try and make this too much longer, but um, I would really appreciate if somebody could give me like uh, some hints or some advice or something, because uh, I also tried it in uh, Adobe Premiere, and I was getting pretty much the same exact results. So, um... Yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, and I'm hoping to get some uh, responses in the comments section for this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.